Hello everyone, my name is Nate Melchow and I am the Activities Director at Sioux Falls Washington High School. It is with great pride that we celebrate the 2021 State AA Girls Basketball Championship team from Washington High School. This is the Warriors' fifth girls basketball title since 2008. We appreciate the leadership of our head coach Jamie Parrish and our assistant coaches Jeff Tobin, J.J. Hyden, Alicia Hess, Grant Scouten, and Clara Paul. It was a great weekend for our girls basketball program at the tournament at the Pentagon. Our cheerleaders, led by coaches Cindy Jones and Bailey Franzine, led an awesome, supportive crowd to cheer on our Warriors. This was a special state championship season. We have had many new regulations and protocols due to the COVID situation. Our coaches and athletes are to be congratulated for working with these protocols for us to have a season this year. They have been working with these since last summer. The student athletes hard work, discipline and unity are to be celebrated. Many people contribute to the success of a program and a team. We all know that the star of the team is the team and that shines through with our girls basketball state champions. Thank you to our athletes, managers, cheerleaders, athletic trainers, coaches, families of athletes, coaches, and our Warrior fans. It is truly a team effort. We'll have additional speakers today on this celebration video to visit about our championship girls basketball team. Again, congrats to our state champs from Washington High School. Good afternoon. I think many of you would agree that celebrating the accomplishments of our WHS athletes never gets old. Congratulations to our Washington High School girls basketball team and head coach Jamie Parrish for bringing home the second state title this year. First, I'd like to recognize that Washington High School single-handedly has the best fan base. The turnout at the Pentagon on all three days was nothing short of amazing, and I know our girls appreciated the support. Our fans bring an unmatched energy that helps to carry our teams, and they do this with class and integrity. It is as we say, they do it the warrior way. As with everything in life, even the greatest fan base needs direction and our cheerleaders did an outstanding job of orchestrating that. Greatness does not happen by chance, hope, or luck. It takes hard work, commitment, and grit. This team and this program continue to demonstrate all three, both on the court and off. Saturday, we witnessed their hard work pay off on the court. These ladies committed themselves to the goal of winning a state championship and were willing to put in the work it takes to achieve that goal. These ladies have also found a great deal of success in the classroom. Collectively, this team has an average GPA of 3.76 and have taken a total of 20 AP classes and 26 accelerated classes in their time at Washington. It is clear that their commitment to excellence and the work ethic required to be a champion is also prevalent in their academics. We also recognize the work ethic these girls possess did not invent itself. It has been modeled and cultivated over the years by their parents, teachers, coaches, and peers. Thank you for helping to instill these important values in our girls. On behalf of the WHS administration, I would like to congratulate each and every person that is part of the Washington High School Girls Basketball Program and the entire fan base that continues to show unwavering support for the Washington Warriors. Go Warriors! Well, hey, uh, we, have, we have a lot of thank yous to throw out to start this thing. Uh, you know, first of all, to the Activities Association for the fact that we could even have a state tournament, understanding that this, uh, this school year has been very unique and uh, all of the things that they did so that this is a possibility. And to our administration, you know, the things that we've done in our buildings to ensure that we could have a state tournament is, uh, you know, just fantastic. Um, you know, now along with that, uh, this, this group of kids really goes back to we look at the end of the state tournament uh, when these seniors would have been sophomores. You know, at that point, we knew we had a pretty good core group of kids. And uh, what we were really hoping for was to have a good summer and at the end of their junior year to uh, just have a good showing at the state tournament. You know, not necessarily win it, but to go in there and play well and uh, gain some confidence knowing that we would bring a lot of those kids back and uh, preparing for this senior year. 
Now, you know, what happened obviously with the pandemic, there's no tournament, uh, no summer. And, uh, you know, we had to kind of compound the things that we do into a small window, but really proud of these kids. Uh, maybe one of the biggest things that will stand out is just how many different kids contributed on a given night. You know, we can go back to uh, Jaden Warner had a big night at Huron and had a big uh, first day in the state tournament. Uh, Brielle Beitler uh, against T really uh, blew that game open for us. Um, Eden, uh, the championship game was absolutely, a, you know, a career accomplishment for her, what she did for us. Uh, Sid and Jack Alenga, you know, obviously had big games throughout the year. Um, the Harp girls, uh, Taylor Thompson, Lexis Motley, all of those kids, you know, they, they had their moment. It wasn't like we were a, a one-trick pony and, uh, you know, people were worried about their stats, worried about themselves. It was just kids contributing. And then I look at Bianca and Kelsey and Shay. You know, we also have kids that showed up and practiced hard every single day. You know, they had to be the opponent and give us someone to scrimmage against. And, you know, again, from top to bottom, just the fact that kids are willing to do that and be unselfish for, for a common goal, for a big goal, uh, makes this group really special. Uh, one thing I remember throughout the season is when me and Eden were strolling through TikToks and I was like, Eden, this song is so good. And of course, that song turned into our hype game, pregame hype song for the rest of the season. Um, one thing I think that is special about our team is how we connect on and off the court. And I know a lot of teams say that, but here at Washington, I really mean it and it's shown throughout everywhere. And I would just like to say thank you to all the parents, coaches, all the staff, trainers, everybody. It was a long, it was a pretty hard season, but I'm glad we ended on a good note. I want to start off by saying thank you to everyone who has supported us through this whole journey. Uh, the parents, the coaches, all the extra time everyone has put in, the trainers, everyone who has been there for us. Um, this is really, really big moment. It's been really special and I couldn't have done it without, or we couldn't have done it without everyone cooperating and just being, keeping a good attitude. It just has been awesome and I couldn't be happier. Something that was unique about my team was definitely the team chemistry we had. Um, whenever we, we were faced with adversity, our team chemistry would come in and it would get us through whatever we needed to get through. Um, I want to thank a few people. Thanks for, to all the coaches for all the extra time and effort they put in. Um, thank you to our trainers for everything they did. Thank you to Hopper. Thank you to our parents for um, all the love and support and just being there whenever we needed it. Hello everyone. Um, I would like to start off by saying thank you to the coaches. Um, they put a lot of work into this year to make sure it was to turn out the way that it did. Um, also thank you all the parents that helped out with everything in the coming to the end of the season. And I also want to thank all my teammates for playing how uh, selflessly they did. The, they were never worried about how they did, they were worried about how our team did. So that was always um, a really good thing to have on a state championship team.